Okay. What took you so long? What do you mean? I ran all the way. Oh, did you bring the razor? Y yes, but what is going on? Listen, it's okay. All right, it's all going to be okay. Just give me the razor and leave. But no, not if you're going to cut your wrist with it. What? No. I've got nits. So just give me the razor and go away before it's too late. It is 7 a.m. on New Year's Day. I thought you were going to kill yourself. Oh, chill out. It's not like you weren't tucked up in bed with Miss Marple by 10 p.m. Well, that's not the point. And I wasn't. Uh. But this is so fucking typical of you, you selfish, selfish twat. Twat. Well, who do you think you are? <laughs> Please just give me the razor. You don't need a razor. You need a knit comb. I've got a fucking expensive knit comb. The woman in the chemist royally ripped me off. She kept asking how old my infected child was, the bitch. I mean, it's a fairly logical question. It's pretty rare for anyone over 12 to have nits. Oh, no, no, no. She knows I don't have a child. I mean, I was there, like, every weekend last year to get the free morning after pill. We've discussed at length how irresponsible and mm. unmaternal I am. Oh, it hasn't worked. I've been up all night scraping my scalp floor and the population is not dwindling. Okay, you were so deranged. Oh, you'd feel deranged too if your boyfriend had squealed in disgust because he saw a knit jump from your head as you were giving him head. What? <laughs> Look, how did he even see that? And anyway, he is not your boyfriend. Uh, we've been together for four months. We've seen each other like four times. Well, it's the quality, not the quantity. <laughs> God, you always demean my relationship. No, I'm just protective. Mm. He ditches you after sex every time. Look, he saw a knit jump from my head to his pubic hair. How was he supposed to react? How did he even see it? He wears very thick glasses mm. and it was a big one, like a prawn. Mm -hmm. He said I was a rancid nest of bad hygiene and then he left. I mean... It was so sad. It is the first time I've ever spent New Year's Eve with a boyfriend. What, where he'd come round, get head and leave? And instead I was left downing two bottles of Prosecco with a bleeding scalp. So why do you want the razor? Look, you are going to kill yourself, aren't you? No. I'm going to shave my hair off. What? No, you can't. You look terrible. No, I won't. I'll look like Natalie Portman. You don't have her bone structure. You will look like an egg. A knit egg. Or Sinead O'Connor. No one will employ you. Oh, God, you're such a square. Oh, and you were so hard, Miss. I was raised in a barn. Uh, it was a renovated coach house. Oh, Jesus. First the tattoo, and now you're shaving your hair off. <laughs> the tattoo is totally unrelated. Why are you... Bring that up. What are you trying to prove? Nothing, I just... Well, whatever. All right, look, I just don't want you calling me at 3 a.m. again, complaining uh, about how much you hate your <laughs> egghead, because this square is not interested. That's never happened. I've never said I don't like my tattoo. Yes, you did. You said it looks like a giant Brussels sprout. Oh, it's a wild rose. There is just quite a lot of foliage growing around it. A giant Brussels sprout growing right <laughs> out of your bum crack. It's in memory of my dead best friend, so fuck off. Rose was my friend too. You're not the only one who misses her. Look, you're right. Okay, you would look good with a shaved head. Mm. Very this is England. Why don't I do it for you? Okay, you'll never eat those baskets alone and we wouldn't want it so it's patchy. Look, come on, sit, I'll be neat. Not chickening out, are you? Triangle. <laughs> yeah, sit in the chair. Sit in the fucking chair, please. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay.